Low Blood TV, back again with another exclusive, powered by Talker Media. Um, rich nigga, <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Um, yeah. another hometown hero. Um, good brother, good brother. Um, personally, I don't have no um full blown relationship with bro. Um, like he my scoop my uh what you call it. My day one, my sandbox, no, nah, but um, through mutual constituent with you, feel me? I got yeah. a lot of respect for this, brother. Um, never heard nothing bad. Um, stand up dude, you know, every time I see him, I run into him. He always give a nigga his respect and, you know, say what's up and all the little shit. Um, definitely popping. Um, music going crazy. I definitely um, be tweaking on your shit for sure, for sure. Um, like I said, hometown hero. East Oakland finest. You yeah. feel me? Some more of it. Offset. What's up with blood? What's popping my nigga, man? Man, first what? off, thank you, King. I appreciate yeah. you for pulling up. Most definitely. Um, I always I, offset. How? What, what's what's the whole thing? What's that like? Man, the shit wasn't even supposed to be like no. I had got the name because we was like, oh, we some young rich niggas. This one like Migos first came out, so we was like, yeah, we young rich niggas too. We got the Audis, all, all, all the shit they was rapping about. We like, you feel me? That's how we, that's we was fucking with it at the time, the trap and all that shit. The name was somebody had gave it to me from that, but I wasn't posted. I wasn't rapping, so I, it was it was just an Instagram handle. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to stick with it, and then I just happened to start rapping, and it kind of stuck with me. But I don't know, it wasn't even supposed to be like that. It was some flu shit. Right, right. Um, what made you start fucking with the music shit? I mean, nigga was always around it, so nigga just was like, "Fuck it, let me just try." And then I tried. It. I really, we was, you know, we was always doing that shit, fucking around, but not, not on no serious shit. Right, right. Like what made me kind of get serious with it was like Black. He kind of made me get serious with that shit, and I think the the people reaction to me is what made me take that shit more serious because right, right, right. it was like. They was they was they was taking me serious, so I'm like, fuck it, like I might as well just go all in and see what happened. What's uh, what's your relationship with Black? That's my nigga. Like, okay. You know, we grew up together, we from the same hood, all this shit. So, right, that's um, my boy. He definitely always speak highly about you, like yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, I thought y'all was like damn, they're brothers or some shit like that. Like yeah. you feel me? Because uh, like me. I said, he always definitely speak highly about you. Yeah. So East Oakland. Dubs. Yeah, all the way. You spend a lot of time in that west side, too. On oh, my mama. If niggas know, they know. Definitely spend a lot of time in that west side. Um, with the Jets, tough. What's the, um, what would you say the difference between East Oakland and West Oakland? You know how a West Oakland nigga can tell if you're an East Oakland nigga yeah, or an sure. East Oakland nigga, like, what's the difference from you? The difference? I mean, the west a little bit more grimy. You gotta, you gotta have that, you gotta have that. Yo, nuts gotta drop in that west. Cause if you scared, they gonna smell it from a mile away. Right, Especially right. where I run, like it's it's different in the east. It's like it's it it, it get turned too though. It get turned too. Definitely, it get turned. But I don't know. It's just like the west is like a little bit more because like, it's smaller. It's smaller, and everybody know each other. Right, right, so it's right. Like, you know, niggas, mamas know each other, daddies know each other. Everybody, everybody know each other in the west. If you've been down there, you know. Right. In the east, it's like. A nigga could say he from the same hood as you. You might not have never even seen this nigga before. Right, like, you know what I'm saying? It's right, a, it'd be a lot of that going on too. Right. So, um, one thing, because I grew up in the East a lot too, um, the biggest difference for me is the driving, bro. Yeah. It's the driving. Um, in the East, you know, um, the town period, you know, we foul, we drive, boom, boom. But nigga, it's like that wrong side of the street driving scares yeah. the fuck out of me, I bro. hate driving in the east, bro. Especially in the deep. I can't stand driving it out there. It definitely that deep. You a nigga might run a stop sign, like clap your shit, anything. Like right. I, don't, I can't. I don't like that shit at all. I ain't gonna lie, that shit. It be scaring me on some other shit. Like damn, and then you know y'all know y'all cars. Y'all know yeah. who you feel yeah, me? Who it is? Who's who. Yeah, that shit be tweaking to me. Um, I know. Um. When I first, first, first heard of you, um, it wasn't even through music. I'm gonna keep it real. Mm -hmm. It was through dice games. Oh yeah, it yeah. was definitely through dice games. Yeah. Um, I heard niggas uh, like, "Man, who whooped and hit, or who whooped and got hit, or oh no, nah, bro, gonna shoot to his like." You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, um, what's your whole tweak on that shit? Shit, it really. Uh, I, 
gambling been a part of my life for like since I was like eleven. Uh-huh. My uncle told me I shoot dice when I was like eleven, so I jumped off the porch with a pair of dice. Like, you feel me? So it was like, then my nigga, rest in peace, my nigga Trig. Like you feel me? We niggas know us for that. Like you feel me? Like I don't know. That's just that's just what we do. Like, yeah, that's just um, what we do. Nigga grew up doing doing that shit and still do that shit. I didn't gamble with the best of them. Then broke that ass and got my ass broke too. What's the most you ever got hit for? Man, I didn't got hit for like forties. 30s. Yeah, and one second? Yeah. What's the much you ever hit for in one second? Probably like 60. Good one, huh? 60 something and change. Do you miss the EDD dice games? Hell yeah, them was the best ones. <laughs> them was the best ones. I ain't gonna lie, you got niggas, you ain't never even, you know, niggas, niggas running they shit, then they coming to shoot dice with us because we got the name for this shit. So mm-hmm. it's like, nigga, we'll come out the house with a thousand dollars. These niggas come with 50,000 thinking we got the bank on us. We right. just. But it's just the name be so big, so niggas be chasing that. Right. All the time, they end up chasing their money back. Um, how do you think that affected us, that EDD phase? Man, that shit was beautiful. That shit was beautiful. Like, it was them there safe around this motherfucker. Like, you feel me? Everybody was, everybody was on to something. Like, you feel me? It, it looked real good, man. I, I want that type of shit to come back because yeah. you ain't had niggas trying to take niggas shit. You ain't had niggas trying to... Trying to do no crazy shit. Everybody was kind of happy. Like, you feel me? Niggas wasn't tripping on, like, nigga, niggas who was funking now was running into each other wasn't even, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, niggas was living. Yeah, niggas was living. It was kind of a good thing, man. It was like, but then once that shit, once that shit was gone, it got more dangerous. It got dangerous than it ever was before. It started getting treacherous. And I'm going to keep it real, bro. Um, I kind of despised the niggas who was looking down on that phase. Yeah. Like, it was a lot of niggas. Oh, nigga, I was whoop, whoop. You niggas, like, I couldn't understand that for nothing in my soul, bro. Me neither. I, um, and I said, I, I bought that up because, you know, that's some Oakland shit. You know, yeah, everybody know what's shit. going on. You feel me? But um, that shit was kind of rubbing me the wrong way, bro. Because, like. Me too. Nigga, you supposed to be happy to see a nigga up. Yeah. Like, you feel me? It's like a nigga, like. That showed a lot of niggas true colors. Yeah, it did. And these niggas with money, you feel me? Like, yeah, and it's yeah okay, like, yeah. you have money, you let a nigga live now. Yeah. You feel me? And I was thinking because when niggas was getting in position and getting that money, nigga, they was looking way better and way, you feel yeah. me? Saucier than shit. Sometimes that's the only thing a nigga missing. Yeah. N- nigga might already got the style, the grace, all that shit. He just ain't got the funds like that. Right, right. That's all a nigga be missing. Then a nigga get a little bit of that. Then you got these niggas coming from way up here, hating on a nigga down here. Definitely, niggas definitely. Niggas. So um I um I heard a rumor, bro. I don't know if it's true or not. Um I heard um you signed your deal, but you matched your money, your own money, or whatever was going on with your deal. I ain't never signed. Oh, talk to me. <laughs> I ain't never talk signed. Talk to me, Jim. Yeah. I ain't never signed. Talk to I me. I ain't signed that all. I got a distribution, but you know, that's just distribution. I, uh-huh. I'm independent. Okay, okay. A lot of this shit y'all see, like, it be, it be coming from me and my team. Uh-huh. Like, you feel me? I came in this shit with a team already, and I already, you feel me? I played with a couple dollars, too, so it's right, like, right. you know? But I ain't signed nothing. Oh, that's like, I rough. I ain't got no major. I ain't got nothing like that. I'm, that's I'm, rough. I'm independent. That's rough. I got distribution. They help me with a little shit, but you know, a lot of this shit come up off the muscle too. That's rough. And um, how is that? Like, uh, do you eventually want to like you know get a deal or Hell yeah, you want to take the independent Eventually, route? If, it, if it makes sense, if it makes sense. But you know, the independent shit cool. But at the end of the day, this shit, like I ain't my life ain't really for me. It's, Nigga, I'm still doing what I do too. You feel me? Eventually, a nigga want to take that next step where a nigga ain't got to do none of this shit. Right, right, right. Wake right. up and just do straight music shit all day, every day. Right, right, right. You know how this shit go. Um, I honestly, you know, I've been doing this shit for a minute. Um, I ain't gonna act like I'm just the hottest nigga on the block, or I was once the hottest nigga. But um, a nigga definitely want to go to the next level. For sure. You feel me? And um, you know, sometimes I. It, I I get discouraged, bro. Yeah. Because I've been doing this shit for so long, bro. And um, it's like, damn, a nigga ain't gonna never catch that break. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. And truthfully, I wasn't serious about my shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you know, a nigga, one foot in, one foot out. You get what I'm saying? Know exactly. But what you're um, saying. as of this last little, you know, year or two, just fucking with the team of niggas I got behind me, um, and pushing me. 
Like this the most motion I ever seen in my music career. Yeah. And um I said that to say, bro, you still young in this shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And um, you know, you're not going up, you're you're steady going like this. Mm-hmm. Nigga, if this what you wanna do, little bro, like do it, bro. Yeah. Like you feel me? Like, nigga, you don't wanna miss out on that big ass black bag, bro. It's yeah. a it's a bag in this shit, bro. And um, you know, niggas shame us. Oh, rap niggas rap all that. But nigga, God gave us this gift. You feel me? It's yeah. a talent, nigga. Yeah. And, and bro, um, nigga, I didn't um I didn't take headshots. You feel yeah. me? Like I don't supposed to be here right now. You yeah. feel me? And um I'm honoring my blessing right now. You feel me? Nigga done had a son and hella shit. Yeah. I didn't have none of that before all that. So it's like I'm honoring my blessing right now, bro. And um it's heavy on my heart. I don't know why. That's why I'm ex- you know, explain sharing it with you, because it's heavy on my heart right now. Uh bro, you you got the opportunity, bro. Like, mm. take that shit, bro. Like, this shit gone. The dubs gonna always be there. The bitches, Oakland, all that shit gonna always be there, bro. Yeah. Um, when I was talking to you the other day, you like, man, I got a studio session. You feel me? I come earlier, but I got a studio session. And you end up hitting like, bro, fucking, I'm gonna do the studio session. Bro, do that, bro. Do that type of shit, bro. Cause this shit, a nigga can miss his window. You feel yeah, me? yeah, and that's what a nigga, that's exactly what a nigga trying to avoid. Right, right, right. Because it could happen. It definitely could happen. And there's always somebody younger and saucier. Hell yeah. You Every day me? somebody new coming out. Yeah, so definitely, um, I definitely, me, I definitely suggest you to bleed the music, bro. Yeah. Like, for sure, for sure. Especially while you got this opportunity. Like, because niggas sure. don't get it. Nah, Especially where we from. hell no, definitely. If there's other not. shit that a nigga doing, like it's gonna always be there for sure. Like a nigga ain't come this far just to come this far. Like, right, you know, right. A nigga trying to, nigga trying to push for way greater things. The free gym movement. Yeah. The free gym movement. Uh, what you do? Just like a month or two? Nah, I did like three months. Three months. Ah, a little That's push up. A little That's push-up. your first little. Yeah, my first little one. Since yeah. I've been a young nigga, like I be. I be blessed enough to learn from others' mistakes. Right, right. My whole family was in jail, niggas. My dad, my grandpa, my brothers. Like, you feel me? I'm just the one that kind of slipped through the cracks by the grace of God. Like, mm-hmm. So I ain't going to lie. I don't want to do no day in jail. Like, my right. family did enough time. My niggas did enough time. Like, if I'm going for a month, it's that's too much for my peoples. That's, right. that's you feel me? I got a whole team of motherfuckers that depend on me. Mm-hmm. So when I'm gone, like, they feel it. If I'm going today, they feel that. If I'm going a week, they feel that. Three months, they felt that. Definitely, for sure. So uh, what did you do to pass that time? I was chilling. I was like, you know how be you go to jail, you rap? Like, yeah, you a celebrity in that motherfucker. Definitely. So it's like, nigga, ain't, I was laughing in that motherfucker, cracking jokes, watching niggas get whooped. <laughs> push right. Reading? Reading. I was, nah, I was in. They had me out here. Oh, for real? I was in, uh, I was in San Joaquin County. Oh, uh, easy. Man, I used to live out here. They kicked my door out here. So okay, okay, okay. Like that. I was out here. It was a bunch of Stockton niggas in there. I ain't know Stockton was turned like that. Oh, for I sure. Went. Yeah, but it's, it's turned. They got a bunch of gangbangers going on in there. But ex niggas in there. That niggas, niggas, they seen me through there. Right, for sure. Stand up nigga. For sure, for sure. Um, where do Jim see yourself in 10 years? Kicking back. Uh, just kicking back, man. Just, I don't know, street shit. Like, I ain't right, feel right, me. I'm right. trying to, I ain't trying to, like, you said you got hit in your head, shit. I got hit too. Right. I hit nine times in this shit. I done bled for this shit and did everything under the sun for this shit. Right, right, right. I ain't right. trying to be doing this shit my whole life. I'm trying to be making a way for my peoples. You feel me? My kids. I got two boys. Right, 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 right. I just, I don't know. I just see myself just happy, kicking back. Right. At peace. Not worrying about these bitch ass niggas that's out here or this. Just stupid shit, like feel me. I want to be, I want to still have my foot in some music, uh-huh. but I want to do other shit too. Like it's a bunch of shit I want to do. I just, I just see myself doing everything that I'm thinking about doing now. Right, right. That's right. why I just wake up every day and try to take steps to moving forward. So right. for me, I could be there in, in five, ten years. Right, definitely. Shit like that. How do you deal with, uh, how do you deal with hate, bro? I mean, that shit come with this shit. Like a nigga gotta just know that this shit come with this shit. They gonna hate you for. Whatever it is you doing. So you feel me? I already, I, I'm already hip to this shit. Niggas been hating my whole life. Right, right, right. I ain't got it in me to hate. Like, you feel me? If I see a nigga doing better than me, I always, it motivate me to do better. Like, oh, I could do this shit. Like, if I see a nigga right here doing some shit, it's like, okay, I could do this shit too. Right, right, right. But shit, I ain't gonna lie. I love that shit. Come on, come with more of it. Right, right. Some five niggas hating, I need 10 of them niggas hating. Fuck them niggas. For real. To me, um, I don't be tripping off the outside hate. 
it's the hate I get from within. Like, oh yeah. You feel me? The eternal see, affairs. See now that shit hit different. In-house shit always hit different. I ain't gonna lie. In any situation, in-house, in-house shit always hit different, bro. Right, right, right. That in-house shit, that's that shit gonna hit you where it hurt every time. And I done dealt with it before too. And it it didn't it like you said, it hurt way worse than outside. Cause you know, outside it's like, man, we don't know that we don't fuck with them niggas anyway. Right, 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 right. Inside it's like, come on, bro. Like we we came up together. We shouldn't yeah, be, shouldn't even be no sure. room for this. But yeah, that inside shit, that shit hit way different. Um, do you think um being from East Oak, not even being from East Oak, but just being from the dubs, do you think that closed doors musically for you? Like, um, not so much. I feel like, I feel like me and Black kicked the door open for it. Like, you feel me? It's other niggas that from the from the hoods, from older niggas that did their thing before us. You feel me? You got the Beatles, Weezers, and the under surveillance and shit. But you know right, that was right. like way before us. Right, right, right. Like as for like our generation, you know, it was like a couple of niggas doing their thing before me and Black. But I'm talking about like on this scale of level, like me and Black was the ones kicked the door in to where it made it cool from for niggas doing the be. You know, are we from the desert and we rap like you feel me? Yeah. We, we kind of and to me, and you feel me, any other nigga should feel like they did it too. But right, right, for right. me, I feel like we kicked the door open on that on a major level to where it was cool. Like you feel me? Because everybody else was from all these other places. Like right. we made that shit cool. What um what song you think it was that made you be like, okay, I'ma fuck with this shit? Like I think it was either big nigga or no pressure that had me like had me like, okay. Like they fuck with me. All right. It was like that. It was a reaction I seen to that shit. Like, especially big nigga. Cause I had sent it to a couple of people before it came out. Mm-hmm. And I kind of fucked us over. But I wasn't thinking this is my first little, you feel me? So what you mean by fucked you over? Like, cause hella people end up getting a song. Uh, and you know, motherfuckers riding around. They you, you hearing the shit playing. It's like this shit ain't even out. Right, right, right. Like, fuck, we had to hurry up and drop the shit because of that. But but that let me know right there, like, okay, they fucking with this shit. Really yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit, that's how it happened right there. Uh, how that record with EST come about? <laughs> shit, through me, I had, uh, I be listening to that nigga hella much, and they was trying to get him on another song, but I didn't like it. So I'm like, oh, I'm, a, I'm just gonna do a whole new song and put him on this one. And it just made way more sense. I had, I had reached out, you feel me? A couple of mutual friends reached out, but I ended up doing this and in the back, and we ended up shooting a video in New York. Oh what? Yeah, cause I got I live out there too. I got a spot out there. Oh, okay, so okay. He just happened to be out there, and somebody he like, you know, bro, out here. Woo, woo. So we put the put the pieces together and just did that shit. You was the first nigga, well, well that I seen like on some street level shit that you know the type of life we live. Yeah. Get into the cookie store. Yeah. I didn't see hell of niggas before you. Yeah. Hell of niggas after you try. You feel me? Yeah. And, um, like I said, these niggas with bigger names than us. Yeah. But I seen you kick that door in, bro. Um, what was that experience? How was that? If you don't I, mind, it was player. It just it just be relationships on okay. who you know. Like me, I be I be meeting a lot of people, and I know how to deal with people because you know I was always into the the cannabis shit like way before the rap, and I'm gonna do it way after the rap. But so I know a lot of people in that shit. A lot of growers, a lot of motherfuckers that know people. It just it's on all who you know. Right, right. And the rap shit helped too, though, because you know everybody want to be around niggas that rap. Right, right, so right. That shit, that the, the cannabis and the rap go hand in hand. Right, right. But it just, it just based off relationships, people I had already knew, and shit. They came to me with that shit. Okay, cool. That's it dope. Was like, cause I had, cause I had uh, a little strand that I was working on, and they came to me with it. Like, you, you trying to go to, you trying to get your shit in cookies, and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, like. And then we just ran to play like that, and that shit ended up. It was big. That shit ended up selling. Every time I drop some shit in there, it sell out. Right, 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 right. People, the, the city supported me, the city behind me. Definitely. So a nigga be th- thankful for that. That's one thing I was about to ask you. Do you think um, Oakland supported, support they all? I feel like the politics be just so outweighing shit. It's like, it just be depending. Like, yeah, like, yeah, they support, they support you. They support you. They probably support another motherfucker somewhere else harder though. Cause Oakland them blew motherfuckers up from Detroit. Right. You feel me? We done blew these niggas up from other states plenty of times, especially Detroit. But I don't know. We don't go. You might have half of the city going hard for you, but the other half already don't like you, so they ain't gonna go as hard for you, especially right. if you went into street shit and politics. Like you know, half of the city gonna go hard for me for sure. And it's like other halves that's like 
if you play my shit, they, you know, they be like, I'll turn that shit off. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, it ain't. It ain't just gonna always be 90, 100% of the city. Right, right, right. right. Probably the motherfuckers that ain't involved in this shit, you feel me? But the, the niggas that's involved in shit, nah. So far, what you think your latest market been, like doing the show? For sure, home, LA, places like, places I ain't never even been to. Like, like a bunch of motherfuckers be playing my shit. I ain't never even been there. I'm like, what the fuck? Right, right, fuck right. Fuck y'all right. know about me. It just be like random shit, like places I ain't even think that they knew about me, like Seattle or. Shit like that. Oh, man. overseas, they fuck with me tough too. I ain't know that neither. Right, right. Like London's and Manchester and all that type of shit. I ain't know nothing about that. What's up with that East Coast? You talk about you got a house out there. You be playing yeah. around out there. Huh? Tough. 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 It's cool. Hella cool. I love that shit. I get a chance to like kind of start over. Right. Like, you feel right. me? I, I could be regular. Right, right, right. You feel me? I could walk down the street in my neighborhood. I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to be strapped. I ain't got to be. You know what I'm saying? I ain't right. gotta be masked up. I ain't, I could be. I get a chance to be regular. Feel me? Walk around my kids out there, all type of shit. My bitch. Feel me? It's just it's just another whole another atmosphere. Right, right. You know, right. as a hustler, they always say, you know, all the hustlers gotta go to New York and see what. You know what I'm saying? And I just fit right in in that shit. Uh, do you stand out? Like, like. You know? Yeah, when I talk. Okay. Like motherfuckers know, like, oh, this nigga ain't from here. Right. You right. know, them New York niggas, they kind of different, but. A Bay nigga, an Oakland nigga in particular, gonna always make his mark wherever he go. Right, so right. nigga gonna stand out regardless. And niggas just naturally gravitate to a, a real saucy, authentic Oakland nigga. Definitely. Wherever you go. Definitely. What about the bitches? The bitches. Oh yeah, the bitches, they out there. It's they, uh, you know how like um our bitches damn near just know like, this nigga damn near wants some money from me or- See, but, Bitches out there, they want you to, you gotta spend money on them. Okay. They want yeah. you to say shit like our bitches, you know, our bitches gonna give it up, but. But our bitches, and not just to say, um, like, our bitches just, um, dumb for handing over money. Not, our bitches hustle. Yeah, hard. They hustle hard. harder than niggas. Yeah. Our bro. bitches hustle harder than niggas out here. And it's, it's a lot of bitches out here that got more money than niggas too. Definitely. They know how to put money up. Yeah, yeah. But these other bitches, you know, in these other states, they money come from niggas. Right, They money right. come from the niggas that's trapping all day, then going in, going paying, you know what I'm paying them. Right, 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 niggas right. Niggas hustle all day to pay these hoes out there. And that's, that's where a lot of their money coming from. These bitches be bartenders and shit. But they, but they bartending out there is like stripping. Right, The right. bartenders make more money than the strippers. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So you got a nigga out there hustling all day and night just to go to the strip club to throw all his money yeah, on this bitch. Yeah, yeah, flex on the bitch. Yeah. yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I salute Oakland bitches, man. Um, me too. Some bitches out there getting the bag for sure, for sure, sure man. For sure. Some of them, you feel me? Some of them hustling. Some of them nine to five in it. Yeah. Some of them got real careers. And we got some wet bitches though. For sure. You know yeah. the wettest bitches come from the West. Yeah, we got some wet bitches. The wettest bitches come from the West, man. See, I Trust think me. the wettest bitches come from the East. See? Fuck no. Fuck no. Hell no. That West Side. That West Side got some wet shit. Okay, let me know that then. Let me know that then. Um, if you can go back right now and tell an eighteen year old Jim something, what would that be? Slow down. Uh, don't don't. This shit ain't no race. You feel me? Just you know, take your time with this shit. Don't don't try to be too grown too fast. Right. Enjoy being a, a young man. Enjoy being a, a teenager. You yeah. feel me? Don't don't try to jump into this shit head first so fast. Cause you feel me? And then everybody that's here ain't gonna be there. Like the niggas that you think gonna be here, they ain't gonna be here no more. So you gotta just yeah. slow down so you can make sure you here. How do um how do Jim deal with depression? Man. I kind of just, like when I'm going through them phases, cause I, I go through it here and there, we all do. Yes, sir. I kind of yeah. just sit back and just analyze everything. Like, feel me, I kind of, I stay to myself. Like when I when I go through times like that, I don't even want to be around. Like if I can't help or if I can't feel me, be, be some type of essay and I'm going through, I'm going through, I just stay away. I just stay in my, I just stay to myself at my house, listen to music, smoke, feel me, might got to sip sometimes if it get that bad. Right. But just, I don't know, I just sit back and think. And then when I come out, I come out ready. Right, right, right. right. If I, whatever I go through, I go through it by myself. So when I come out, I could come out like, yeah. Like, I come out knowing what I'm finna do. Right, right, right. I don't, if, if I'm going through it, you ain't just gonna see me like that. Right, right, right. If, even if you do, you ain't gonna know what I'm going through. I don't wear that shit on my sleeve. That's true. Uh, how many times you pay for pussy? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, shit. Shit, we the, you, shit, I ain't, I look at it like shit. If you, you, you taking the bitch, you wanting and dying the bitch to fuck, that's kind of paying for pussy. You buy a bitch something to fuck, you know, that's paying for pussy. Shit, I done bought a bitch, I done bought some bitches a couple of things. Right, right. Okay, look, is this tricking? Get in the room, get in the bottle, the weed. Niggas look at it like it ain't what it is because you doing all this to get the pussy. Yeah, talk to me about <laughs> it. To Niggas me. say that it ain't, but it, it kind of is because you doing all this shit to fuck the bitch. Right, 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 you right. You coming right. out your pocket to do it. Like, I mean, it's levels to that shit, though. Right, right, right. There's levels to that shit. Like, I ain't doing it to any bitch. Any bitch I done did something for, I was dealing with them. Thank you. I mean, she done did something for me, too. Thank you. I mean, that's just naturally me. Any bitch I fuck with, I'm going I'm to boss them up. Right, As right. much as I can, I'm going to keep a bitch in the spot. I'm gonna keep a bitch with a whip. I'm gonna keep it. I'm, feel me. I'm paying the rent, the mortgage, all that shit. Cause that bitch busting moves for me. Yeah, she gonna do yeah. her thing too. Yeah, definitely. Saucy shit, man. Saucy shit. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I never had a um conversation with you in this debt before. Yeah. And, um, shit. It gave me a whole different outlook oh, on yeah, you, bro. Most definitely. Like, I ain't gonna lie. You a um saucy ass nigga, bro. Thank you, bro. You is too. And bro. um. I definitely um appreciate you pulling up and uh sharing your truths with me. And um it's crazy when I reached out and um like bro, come shit. You like, bro, I got you. I'ma come fuck with you because uh you don't be on no messy shit, bro. Like yeah. you just it's just like a nigga hollering, bro. Yeah. And uh, I don't see you on a lot of interviews. I don't yeah. see you, you nah. know. So it's a privilege, you know. Yeah. I don't take this shit for granted. You feel me? Bro, so many niggas be reaching out for me to do shit, but niggas' intentions don't be there, like. You feel me? I don't like a nigga get a, get get a nigga sit a nigga down right here and get the accent about other niggas or like right, street right, shit yeah, yeah. or like nigga, you know I ain't finna talk about that here. Right, like, right. Feel me? Open cases, just dumb shit. Niggas get to asking niggas wild shit right, about right. other artists that they might feel like a nigga got an issue with. Like I ain't talking about that kind of shit. Like right. if niggas know, niggas know what's going on. I ain't gotta talk about it. Right, right. Certain shit is just for the streets. Right, right. I mean, why would you get on camera talking about street yeah, shit? Yeah, like nigga, I ain't fucking with it like that. That's another thing. How you feel about diss rapping niggas? Like niggas who like how do you feel about that? I don't fuck with it. Like I done did I done I done did some little shit too that I ain't too proud of it when it comes to music. Mm. You feel me? But that was back then. Like I wouldn't do the shit now. Never. Cause no. it's like, nah, hell no. Nah. It's like now it's like I'm way past these niggas. These niggas is like mm. they can't fuck with me on no level. Any nigga that I really got an issue with, they can't fuck with me with this shit. Period. With or without this shit, they can't fuck with me. So it's like, and I preach this to my young niggas too. Like, nah, we ain't finna be saying these niggas' names and bringing these, you feel me? We bringing these niggas to our level. For sure. Because now you saying niggas' names, now they going to check out, like, oh, who is this nigga? Who you dissing? Right, like, right, 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 Then some of them niggas could rap, too. I ain't no hater. So, you feel me? They check their shit out there, you feel me? Now they numbers climbing off some shit you done, off your right, fan right, base, right, you right, 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 right. Because that's just how this shit go. We see a nigga dissing nigga, we going to go. Oh, well, what this nigga saying? His song, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, ain't, I just ain't for that type of shit no more. That's like me helping a nigga. I ain't trying to help them niggas. Yeah, for sure. You, you is helping a nigga. Yeah. yeah. You putting, uh, what they say, fuel on that fire. Yeah, exactly. We going yeah. to leave these niggas where they at. Definitely. That. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's crazy, bro. Um, Music, what's your next project? What you working on? Man, I got a tape I'm working on right now. It's called Sleeve Music. That's what I think I'm going with right sleeve? now. Sleeve? Yeah, Sleeve. Like, you know, you're in the backseat of that, of that new thing. Like, okay, that new okay. caddy truck, slime, doing what you do. Okay. Getting, getting a chauffeur. I think I might name it that. I don't know. I'm still kind of like, eh. But I've been working on it real heavy, especially since I got out. But it was originally supposed to drop when I got out. Oh, okay. I mean, before, I, when I was in jail, it was supposed to drop then. We didn't even drop it. But uh, I, I'm glad we didn't, though, because I got so much new shit on there. Right, right, right. But it's gonna you got be, any good features yet? Yeah, I got some good ones on there. I got yeah. some good ones. Well, we got to wait. Wait for the project. I got, I got a couple niggas on there. I going to see. Okay. Yeah, um, it, it's gonna be expected though, cause they see me with niggas all the time. Right. But it's it's still them ones though. Who you wanna work with? Drake. Okay, say that. Drake. Shit, they be they fuck with me though. That nigga didn't send me shit in the mail before. Okay, cool. He didn't send me like bottles and shit. He got he got his own like champagne. He sent oh, me okay. he sent me in the mail before. Salute to Drake, salute to Drake. The whole OVO camp shit. I did a photo shoot for them niggas and everything. Okay, salute, salute, salute. Yeah, yeah, they hit me on some random shit like I ain't even know. Shit, they flew me from NY and I went to uh, LA and did a photo shoot for them, an OVO okay. shoot. Okay, that shit salute. was fire. Salute, salute. Um, I seen you in a Larry June video. 
Oh, yeah. What's your relationship with Larry Jones? Oh, that's my nigga. Okay, that's cool. That's my nigga. And they was out there in New York, and they had just tapped in with me. Like, what's up with you? Doing? I was just happening to be there, and I was like, they said they shooting a video. I'm gonna pull up. Okay. And she was like right by my house, not too far from my house. So I just pulled straight up. Okay. And we fucked with it all night too. Right, right, right. right. That's my nigga. I fuck with him, David Ali. That's my boy too. Shout out to them. So for sure, salute Larry June. Um, bro, I appreciate you, bro. Um, anytime you're doing the rollout, whatever yeah. you need from me, you feel me? If it's in my grace, I got you, bro. I'm going to bless you with it. Um, like I said, I appreciate it because, nigga, I don't see you sitting down yeah. like at all. So, like, you nah. know, it's like this... It's a big, it's a big deal for me right now. You <laughs> feel you, me? Bro. I got a, I got Appreciate an offset it. interview, yeah. man. And um, like I said, salute, man. Um, I'm clapping for you. Um, I'm watching you. I'm seeing you move. Rest in peace, Trig. Yeah. Rest in peace, Trig. Uh, yeah. You know, um, I had love, a lot of love for Trig, man. You know, Trig was up under that Rage Mode act, man. Definitely. And um, I got super, super love for Trig. And, you know, Trig used to speak highly of you. you yeah, feel me? that's my boy. Uh, Trig used to be in them trenches with his dice games yeah. all night. See, he'd, just... he'd be anywhere with a yeah, dice game. Yeah, any... yeah. I'd have been all type of places with him when it come to dice. Yeah, that's definitely. my boy. I Super love, love for Trig. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate you coming. How can we find you? Instagram, 22nd Gym. On Instagram, 22nd Gym. I was on Twitter. I done switched my shit from all set. I went to 22nd Gym. You feel me? It's all the same shit though. So that's the new hat. Even in the music, you on twenty second gym. Even in the music, I no offset. Twenty second uh -huh. gym. Twenty second gym. Okay, that's a tweak. Y'all make sure y'all remember that twenty second gym. Twenty second gym. Yeah, new album. Down. Twenty second gym. We ain't all that shit. All yeah, that shit. All offset. That's the. That's the. Yeah. Uh, that's the pre. That's the pre. Uh, pre ninety day stint. Yeah, that's the pre. That's the pre ninety day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, we done moved on. It's all love, man. Like I said, appreciate you, Ken. Nah, for sure. Appreciate you. Thank yes, you for sir. having me. Yes, sir.